that. But now let's get into my favorite part of the video, <laughs> Q&A. Let's go. Vicky, you are amazing. Thanks. Oh, I got the wrong one. Thank you, Trudeau. Vicky, thank you. Disclaimer, not financial legal tax advice. Channels from Dan Purse only is just an opinion. Dan is not an expert, obviously. Or a financial planner. Perform your own research and do as best you can. And try to find the right information. Good luck because a lot of these places hide them from you. Celsius, Voyager. Tejo says FTX US could be in trouble too. Yes, they're all under the same umbrella. Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat it anymore. Uh, like if something potentially bad is, is coming up, I'm just going to tell you, look, uh, you can use that exchange, but if you follow the rules while you, where you take your crypto off, you shouldn't have an issue. Even if something becomes insolvent. And I'm not saying FTX is going to become insolvent tomorrow or tonight or in a year from now. I have no idea. I'm just saying, protect yourself. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, Cardano, I DCA every day specific cryptos. Uh, I'll tell you what they are. Let me pull this up on Coinbase. Yeah, I use Coinbase. I know. Huh. Let's see. Crypto, Coinbase, I just forget. And some of these I, I buy daily and some of them I buy uh, weekly, but the weekly ones are a little bit more so. So let's see. All ah, right. So this is what I'm buying. I don't want. So ah, that's not right. That's it. Okay. Ethereum, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Polygon, Solana, Algorand, Aave, Chainlink, Near, Cosmos, Cardano, Polkadot. Those are the ones I, I get. And uh, I know like some people say, well, you should wait till they really bottoms out. I'm going to be here for until 2025 at least. Actually, I'll probably be here until 2035 if my heart, <laughs> who knows, heart issues run in my family. If my heart doesn't give out then uh, I'll be here for quite some time. So I just figure like, even if I bought it a little bit high, who cares? As long as I don't break the bank and I don't invest more than I can afford to lose and I take my time, I'll be just fine. That's it. Uh, let's see. Uh, just a quick... Yeah, just a quick question. You know, if Cardano was quantum computer safe, I'm not sure, but I think Algo is the only one uh, so far, right? I'm not for sure. I thought they were working towards that if it's not in there already. But I got to tell you, when quantum computers come out and they come out in mass, I don't think the problem would be with crypto per se. I think the problem would be with everything else. Imagine these, these quantum computers come out and... Uh, I mean, all your usernames and passwords for all your financial institutions will be easily crackable in that sense. And all your data can be, uh, you know, mined pretty simply because it's a quantum computer and, and the transaction speed and, or the, uh, uh, the ability to, to crack and, and do all the things it needs to do to get into your, your accounts or any accounts or government accounts is uh, super simple. So I think that's the bigger issue. Steve says, Rob, you, James, have been the best three. Thank you. I tend to like some other people myself. I like, uh, I like uh, Guy, Coin Bureau, and, and uh, Paul Barone Network, and uh, Crypto Crew, something or other. Those guys are always interesting. And uh, Mike the Investor, Hashoshi, whenever he gets off and, and actually does a video. I think he's busy. And some other ones. That's right. Oh, and CTO Larson. Yeah. Yeah. Capocon says, I DCA every time the chart is down. It's a good time. Good time to do it. Be, mm, yeah. Charles has got a good point. Be, beware of scams via text and calls. Poisoning is Coinbase, the only email. That's right. 
Mark says, question, your recent episode, you, Ben James, said you're not buying. I know you see a small voice, but so on that one, the latest video, Ben said he's, I don't remember if he said he's not buying, only buying Bitcoin. James, I don't think is buying much at all. And I said specifically, I continue to DCA. I just don't DCA as much. So let's say, for example, in the, in the heyday, when things were going, you know, steadily along, 2019, 2020, not 2018. But 2019, 2020, I, you know, I thought, well, you know, the halving's coming up, the next bull run's coming. Started to pour a little bit more, more money. I pretty was pretty sure 2018 was the was the crappy year, and that was the the bottom. So I put more in later on. The, the same things happen now. I always think like 2022 is like 2018. So I continue DCA, just not as much. So like if I would have put, let's say, 100 bucks a day into into Bitcoin, let's just say, now I only put a quarter of that, 25 dollars uh, per day into Bitcoin. And so on down the line. I just not 100% sure that the that the uh, bottom is in. Just like some people are sure that it is, uh, those people are also sure. <laughs> those people are also sure that Bitcoin is going to go to 250k in 2022. So uh, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, you can't trust anybody. Uh, that's why you just hedge your bets. Yeah, cool. It says is FTX really in trouble? They were buying everything up for the past six months. I don't know. I can only tell you what I've seen. And uh, those two tweets from Dylan Sinclair and um, the one from CZ makes me a little bit uh, nervous. And it costs me nothing to offload my crypto off of FTX. And that's what I should be doing anyhow, right? I should be taking that crypto off. Uh, if, I, if you're a trader and you want to leave some on for, uh, for your, uh, your stop losses, leave it on there. That's, that, that's your choice. I'm not a trader, so I don't do that. That's it. Uh, I have a sweat line. Yeah, this one this one was expensive. This green screen was pricey. Is the pool. Very tough to get this green screen to work. Sometimes even my dogs walk right through it. Now, let's see. <laughs> I like how the palm trees sway in the green. That's a that's an advanced feature. You can't, it's it's tough to get. Me and Digital Dave from Crazy for Cryptos have it. Nah, not me. I'm really great at buying the top. We're all great at buying the top. The thing is, you got to remember this: is that everybody's really good at buying the dip and dollar cost averaging. We're great at buying because it, it's action, right? And because we think it's going to go up, it's going to go up. We think about that, but you know what's really hard is to sell. So I need you to think about taking those profits because if you do that now, then it's easier to take the big profits when we go parabolic because I can guarantee you there's going to come a time you're like, okay, Bitcoin went to two. Let's just say, let's just play devil's advocate. In 2023, okay, Bitcoin is at 250K. And we take a look at the MVRVZ score and we take a look at the logarithmic regression. We take a look at, you know, hodl waves or whatever. And we're like, Wow. It's really super heated, but maybe it could go to 350K. And you're going to think that. And, uh, and in that situation, you probably should take, I will be forcing myself to take profits. I won't take 100% right there. I ladder in, I ladder out. But at that point, when it starts to get heated, and that's why I talk about in this video right here, Specifically, what's going to happen? I will never time the top or the bottom, but if I get 60, 80%, <laughs> I'm doing good. Let's see. Uh, Mark asked this question like 10 times. He must have really wanted me. <laughs> Sam I am says, title's wrong. It's neither. You get an 80K Bitcoin December next year, not 280K. And after that, you get a big dump as all take over. Four year cycles, everyone fooled. I hope, I mean, I take that too, actually. <laughs> Any chance you could do bankless also? Uh, sure. Smart guys. Uh, no problem. No membership for Beardy. If anybody needs a membership, it's Beardy. Actually, if anybody needs a donation, it's Beardy. He's still holding on to EOS for some reason. James is buying soul as average. Well, he should buy soul. I mean, look, did you hear about the news? Um, first of all, 
it's Solana and Polygon. They're going to be able to be integrated into Meta or Facebook. We used to call it Facebook uh, for uh, Instagram NFTs to mint and sell. That's one. And the second big news is that they're integrating uh, Solana into Google Cloud services. And that just happened yesterday or two days ago. I forgot which. So, yeah, I mean, that's, I buy Solana. I, I, I dollar cost average it as well. Again, I don't know who's going to win. I don't, know, I don't even know if there is a winner. I don't even know if, there's, if Ethereum is going to take over and there's going to be no other layer ones. So that's why I buy a bunch of them. I don't have to be right on every one of them. It's got to be right on one. Mm. <laughs> bunch of the likes. Thanks. If FTX is in trouble, got to assume bad faith. Yeah, maybe. But wouldn't that... That would really make everybody happy who believes that uh, uh, Sam Bankman, Sam Bankman, uh, how he shorted everything and used uh, customer data to do so. I'm not saying that's what happened. Don't sue me. I'm just saying that a lot of people say that, or some people say that, especially the uh, the Celsius short squeezers, which I don't know why you guys are short squeezing. You've short squeezed the, the hell out of that thing for like two or three pumps. So the only thing you're doing is, is you're, Getting, uh, giving exit liquidity to Mashinsky. So have fun with that. Uh, Jarky, what's up? Uh, Grayscale Bitcoin's giving 34% of premiums. Can I get your opinion? They're really doubling down. They think that uh, they're going to get that ETF, but I think they're suing the SEC right now, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, on this one, I can't have an opinion. I, I just think it's it's uh, turbulent times, and the and the real the real problem with with the turbulence is because of the uh, the regulation aspects. If Gary Gensler would just approve a a spot ETF, then all these problems would go away. I mean, they can they can approve a futures at a drop of a hat, and they're like, oh well, you you know, there's no manipulation there. Whatever, we all know it is. Come on, <laughs> Jarky is good to see you. Now, this is a good one. Gerald Lum says, unfortunately, Rob, it's looking like we may be involved in a war in 2023. You know, America loves a war. I think we're in for a long crawl of this. But of course, there'll be fluctuations in the market we can benefit from. And he's exactly right. There's a phrase I'd like everybody to take a look at. It's called the fourth turning. The fourth turning. T-U-R-N-I-N-G. Just read that and then tell me if you think we're going to go into a war or not. <laughs> I'm living the metaverse. I got to tell you, I think, I, I, I think, I think Mark Zuckerberg might be onto something uh, for the metaverse. I know he's getting his teeth kicked in, but I'm really debating about buying some stock of, of meta. It's just so, it's down so much. But is it valued? It's valued, it's, it's valued inaccurately if what Mark Zuckerberg is trying to do plays out or he believes that everybody will be in the metaverse. We will do all type of commerce and communication, gameplay and business activities and it'll all take place in this mythical metaverse. We'll see. We will see. Mm -hmm. uh, that's okay bought soul yesterday I think we're good how long ago was the video on Cosmo staking uh, about a month or so yeah I did it before I left Texas so Alex says is CZ doing strategic moves to, to be a monopoly BUSD only on Binance FTX out I think also on Google for being on my he's everywhere. Yeah, I mean, he says he's not doing that for it, but I mean, that's what I would do. That's what I would say too, if I wasn't gonna try to, you know, pull a monopoly. <laughs> I'm not doing a monopoly. Okay, let me go down here. What's up, James? We're just talking about Solana. <laughs> See, James's ears must have been ringing because we're talking about Solana. Uh, we're already in a war. The defense industry is making money. 
Yeah, it's pretty awful. Do you do you know if my stocks are safe on FTX? I don't think anything's safe safe on FTX. Again, here's the thing with unfortunately with stocks, you can't hardware wall at that. So I got nothing for you. But I don't buy stocks in FTX, so I can't help you there. But James, you've seen this already, but uh, CZ Binance just said that they're going to exit FTX equity or they're going to sell off of their FTT. And uh, you, you couple that with the Dylan, Dylan LeClaire, I said Sinclair, Dylan LeClaire's tweet about uh, insolvency. It's not looking good. And uh, I'm not going to, I don't give a, I don't give a hoot who's going to say, oh, Rob, you're spreading FUD. I'd rather save people than be accused of, oh, you're spreading FUD. <sighs> Whatever. Alejandro, Rob, what do you think the bottom is? I'm going to do like you and Ben. I'm going to wait. So I don't know. There's two ways to think about it. And I just, I'm not smart enough to figure it, it out exactly. I don't think anybody really, really knows because there's always that doubt. So I just look at them like, it could be bottomed in. It could be. But if it's not and it drops even farther, great. So I just look at it and go, okay, they, like this. I'm not going to start dumping everything like back of the truck until I see some confirmation. Once the Fed comes out and, you know, maybe J Jay Powell starts to be a little bit dovish, I'm like, that's eh, a good sign. Then let's just say like oh, the trade routes and, 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 the, and the shipping from China starts to, to ease off and we get, start to get more of the imports and exports. Take a look at that. And also, let's say like the, the transgressions that are going on in the Ukraine start to, to start to alleviate. That's also a good sign. And then, of course, all these good news that we hear about as far as like the institutions, we, we hear about BlackRock, we hear about Mass Mutual, we hear about Fidelity, all the things. Those are all great. But the big thing, if I get, if I get one of those three things I just talked about and I get some positive aspects as far as regulation, in the US where they say, okay, we're gonna give you clarity about what a currency is, what a commodity and, uh, and what a security is, then I'm backing up the truck. Cause I'm like, great, but I need something. And I don't just go out there willy nilly and go, yeah, I'm gonna do this. That's it. <laughs> James, this is the thing we were talking about, man. So I was just worried about, there was two things. It was this guy. This is uh, uh, Morgan Creek team, Mark Yusko. He says 2023, 250K Bitcoin. Then Tim Draper said the same thing, 250K. So I'm just telling people like, if it happens, awesome, but don't expect it to happen. Don't be like, hey, honey, pack up the kids, sell the house. We're going to be loaded in 2023. Just, I just can't have people doing that. And that's in Puerto Rico. I'll have a meetup this week, Matt. Stop by via the smokehouse. Uh, I should I should make James a mod. It's true. Okay. Uh oh. That's true. I want everybody to do this. Go over to Twitter. And if you see uh, Sam Bankman free do a do a tweet storm get a little concerned and then go from there look uh, it's been 45 minutes or so I have to get out of here and go play some beach tennis over in uh, Condado I think or East Verde, somewhere on there so that's what I'm doing for Sunday and I'll watch some football later after that but that's it everybody so thanks everybody for stopping by I appreciate you I'm glad that my electricity actually stayed on long enough for us to complete this video but that's it again uh, if you like today's video Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. But that's all. So again, be safe out there. Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Everything's going to be okay. I'll be here the next 10 years. Adios.